Hey, I got you some coffee. Mind you, with your sweet tooth, and here we are in... Banner. Oh! oh, my God, could I be any more stupid? I told you so. Why didn't you? Because that's something I don't want to say. Really? Why not? Because you're right about all of it. Faison, the master puppeteer, you know, he gets duped to resurfaced after two decades in a Turkish prison. Oh, God! Faison. The whole ridiculous cover story that I should never have fallen for. What is wrong with me? You wanted to believe it. Why? Because he looked like Duke because he said he was Duke. I'm a spy. Well, that's a joke. I'm trained to be able to see through people who aren't who they claim to be. To spot inconsistencies. To know what is a lie and what is the truth. You told me it was face on. You said it. I won't believe you. I didn't have any proof at the time, and I was less than tactful the way oh, I got. Just stop it. Could you not be so gallant? <laughs> Do you rather I gloat? Yes. Actually, I would. You said I was compromised. I got sloppy. Got sloppy. What you did, my dear, was get played no. by one of the best. I'm a professional. I'm smarter than this. I am. I'm smarter than this. Why couldn't I just see it? What was right in front of my face? Because of Robin. We both did. No parent should ever have to bury their child. I mean, how do you describe in words that sort of a loss? Luke, Luke said you were dealing with it. And then that idiot, Heather Weber, has to go and tell you that, that Robin's alive. She did the worst imaginable thing for a grieving parent. She gave them hope. So off you go to Switzerland. When you get there, you discover that Robin's gone. So you've got to deal with the loss all over again. Yeah, I did. And in the, in the middle of all of these steps, Duke Lavery, alive and in colour, standing in your living room. I could have shot him that first day. I wish to God I had. Faison's timing here was, in, was impeccable. He knew he could never get away with any of this unless you were grieving for Robin. But as it is, he still had to throw everything he had at you, including a dead man's face. What if he didn't? What if that man is still alive? Please. I mean, no, I ignored my instincts before. I overlooked inconsistencies, and I'm not going to make that mistake again. What inconsistencies? All right, hear me out. When I come into this room, Faison is in here, right? Mm. And he had this thug. Uh... Oh, God, what was his name? Oh, it was Klaus. Of course it was Klaus. So Klaus brings Duke into this room. He's all bound and gagged, and he's being held at gunpoint. And uh, um, this man that I thought was Duke, he's fighting against his restraints, and he's trying to tell me something. And, and that's when Faison says to Klaus to shoot him. And I go for the gun, and I try to get it. Well, that was staged. Yes. Exactly. Right. At that point, Faison drugs me. And I'm out. And then when I come to, now Faison has got this whole mask back on again as Duke. And this Klaus person is lying here. He's dead. Duke says he shot him. And that Faison escaped. So what's the problem? Who was that man? That was Duke. Who was the man being held at gunpoint? We went through all of this. Faison came in, stuck the Duke mask on a henchman. Right, of course, because anybody could look like Duke if they had that mask on. But what if there's another possibility? Well, wait a minute. You're, you, you're not buying Yeah, no, listen. What if Duke Lavery is alive? What if that was him? Faison had this plan down to the last detail. He needed you to see him with Duke. So the best thing was to slap a mask on one of the henchmen. Right, I know. It's vintage Faison. Well, why don't you want to believe that? Well, because when Faison was posing as Duke, you know, he wasn't just some mute person. He knew things. 
right? He, he knew things about me, Duke, hmm. conversations, places we'd been, things that only Duke and I would know. But this is Faison. You don't think he's capable of getting such a thorough dossier? Right. I know, but I was also wondering why when Luke went to Turkey that the story checked out. But wait, wait. Luke said he couldn't, he couldn't disprove Lavery's story. Right. Maybe because Duke Lavery had actually been in that Turkish prison. Uh, wait, wait. Faison's more than capable of bribing people and falsifying records. But what if... What if there's another possibility? What if Duke had been held captive in that Turkish prison and Faison had found him there and he questioned him and he got all this information out of him and maybe... I don't know, maybe he took a mold of his face and because that would explain why that mask is so perfect. Look, all he needs is good software and a decent lab and he can fabricate anyone's face. But let's call Interpol. No, let's call... You know, there's what something is... else. It's been bothering me. When Klaus brought Duke into this room, there was a look in his eyes. Something that had been missing. Duke... When he came in here, he was struggling to tell me something, and he was fighting, he was trying to save me. And I recognized his eyes. They were Dukes. Okay. I don't think you're right about this, but I know where we can go, get some answers. Duke and Robin, neither can be discovered here alive. Again. We want the truth. So listen, Faison is in custody, so you don't need to deny it. I know he was posing. You're looking as Duke, for a patient, but he this knew things that only Duke could know. Trespassing. So my question to you is: Is Duke Lavery alive? <laughs> I think you've lost your grip on reality. No, he's as sane as you like, my dear. But you're in a lot of trouble unless you start. Come on, forward. this is nonsense. I don't have to justify okay, what is fine. going on here. You know what? You want to play it like this? I'm going to go room by room. What's in here? No, don't! Open it! No! No! 